Hello boys and girls, it's Ville Engman from the Vardin Studios in Finland and I have here uh, Jonathan Kronqvist, I'm the product manager of something interesting. Yes, because the something interesting is something why we are here today with you. So we got some great news, great release news. So what yeah. did we release? Today we released Vardin Spreadsheet version 1.0. Yes, finally. Yes. This, is, this is so awesome. I'm really excited about the whole thing. But what is it? You know, what it actually uh, does? It's basically a Vardin component that allows you to bring your spreadsheets into your Vardin applications. All right, all right. Yes. So if we look at the uh, look at the uh, what it actually has, you know, what what is all about? What's the benefits of the whole thing? So we can see some pretty good stuff here. So yeah, you can basically. Uh, make some pretty reports or invoicing templates or whatever in uh, Excel that everybody knows and loves. And then you just, in your Vardin application, instantiate a new spreadsheet component, add the template there and anyone can edit it on online in your Vardin application. That's, That's pretty cool. much the gist of it. That's cool. That's cool. Now again, yeah. if you have a web application and you rely on Excel, files, Excel spreadsheets somehow in your business. Now you can actually bring that to, to web yes. without the need of the actual exactly. software. That's, that's exactly. really cool. That's really cool. All right. So that's the main thing, but so how about the use cases? So, you know, we were actually thinking about this a bit, you know, what would be a really good use case for that? So it's just an example. You know, what would you actually be able to do with this? So one thing that came to my mind from, was from my history, you know, there was a you know, time when the business was run with Excel sheets, basically. Yeah. You travel somewhere, you have to file in a travel report. That's always an Excel template. Yep. I didn't know where that was, actually. So I asked the secretary every time, yeah. where is it, to actually file it in. And uh, then I edited my stuff and sent it to the secretary. Yeah. So this is actually a pretty good example of what it could do. So let's check what we have, just an example. So this could be the expense report that I have to file in. Yeah. if I actually do some traveling. So I always lost this one, but think about if we actually would be loading it to, to my browser. Or actually the secretary would, would load all the templates, the reports that are needed to somehow, somewhere in the internet. And uh, you could just go there and uh, open your travel, travel expense report. Uh, you can, you know, write here something, I don't know, let's put some, uh, values here just to just to show it around so what ap actually happens here it calculates the uh, expenses for me whatever they are some de description here and so forth you know you can you guys can try this out and when i'm done i got the final final end number here you know this is the amount that i have to get from the company Yep. And uh, I just download the uh, Excel file yep. without even need to have, have an Excel installed on my machine. I'm yep. a Mac guy, so that actually causes some problems. Yeah. And then you can just send it off to the secretary or yeah. something. Yeah. This could be. This could be one really simple, but actually a great use case where you could help, help yourself in your everyday business. That yeah. could be one. But yeah, but we also have... Uh, this is actually used in production already. Yes. Our friends in Italy at Tagetic actually used this in production already. And you talked to them yesterday? Yes, yes, I was really amazed. You know, I actually had a Skype call with one of their team leaders uh, yesterday. And I had a Skype video call and I took some parts from, from the call for you guys. So let's see the, uh, the video that I actually got from the call. You can actually see some live action with this yeah. cool stuff. Check it out. Hello, my name is Alessandro Guarascio and I work for Tagetic Italy. I'm the team leader of Tagetic Financial Reporting. Our company is uh, uh, providing financial solutions for uh, several hundred of customers all over the world. Our solution, uh, it's a single unified application that covers several financial processes. For example, consolidation, financial planning, budgeting, disclosure management, and other ones. 
So this is Stagetic 5 main cockpit, uh, which is uh, uh, used for uh, perform uh, financial steps uh, in our uh, processes. Uh, one of th these steps may be uh, the, the filling of a form, of a data entry form, that can be started from here. Let's give you an example. I specified some filters. And here we are. Uh, this form is designed uh, using Excel, and uh, users can simply uh, edit or change the numbers on it, or using if they want some formulas. And uh, the spreadsheet automatically uh, updates uh, the value of that formula. And as you can see, also subtotals are automatically updated. And we added some uh, um, extra tool, uh, which are financial specific uh, functionalities, um, on the top in this ribbon. We can, for example, show some property of the cell we are selecting in, in this moment. We can also use this data to create a pivot table and then drag and drop dimensions to make different analysis of those data. And eventually, we can download the original Excel file and then open it directly into Excel and edit from it. As you can see, we have the, exactly the same look and feel and the same features as uh, we have on web. We decided to adopt the VADIN spreadsheet component uh, because uh, uh, our customer starts to ask us uh, for a unified solution, for a single user interface, but they wouldn't like to lose all Excel functionalities because typically our users are Excel experts and they love Excel and they want to have the same features on Tagetic, on web, and those features have to be available on, for example, on mobile devices, and especially in our cloud solution, where it's not so simple to develop something or install something on cloud platforms. All right. Cool stuff. Cool stuff the Tagetic guys has been, have been awesome doing. Job. Yeah, yeah, I really like the, uh, the, the look and feel of the application. There's a lot of functionality there. Yeah. And uh, especially the point that, that Alessandro uh, mentioned there, the biggest reason for them was truly to preserve the Excel yeah. user experience for their users. It's all finance users, they all know Excel. And uh, now they can still keep that on a cloud-based system that they're offering. So I think that's, that's a really good yeah. example. How to how to go go on with this cool add-on. So next thing, where to go? Vadi.com slash spreadsheet. That is the place where this uh, cool component is is located. There you can find all the info. And uh, so so what's what's the details with what's the licensing? How do you yeah, get it? It's available as a standalone license and a part of the Pro Tools subscription. So details on Vadi.com slash spreadsheet. Yeah, exactly. So now it's your turn. Go there, try it out. This is a really cool release. One of the best ones we've had out for, for quite a long time. I'm yeah. really excited yeah. about it. So uh, try it out, give us feedback and uh, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.